Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Leadnap Gaming. This week it's all about the cross chassis upgrade, also known as a ship upgrade. This week we're doing it a little different and that's because I've been asked multiple times how to do these cross chassis upgrades and I have a video that came out last year that describes this, but it was in with everything for fleet planning and I was showing kind of seeds and all of these different considerations. And it's really hard to point someone at that video and say, that's how you do it. This week, what we're focusing on is what is a cross chassis upgrade or ship upgrade, why you would do it and how to do it. We're going to upgrade this G12R. Now, you can see right away that it was a war bond ship. War bond simply just means that I paid cash for it and didn't use in-store credit, which is a topic for another day. That said, because I bought it war bond during the concept sale, it came with lifetime insurance. Now, personally, I don't like to buy ground vehicles like the bikes or buggies like this one with real world cash. They're cheap in game, no reason not to buy them in game. However, the reason that I own this, and as you can see, multiple other ships, is because I was able to get them with lifetime insurance. And this is what we refer to as a LTI token, meaning that I can take this G12R and turn it into something else. An easy example of that would be here. We can see this other Origin G12 I purchased that had lifetime insurance. I then upgraded to an Asperia Talon. So that's how I got a Talon with lifetime insurance. Now, I was also there when the Talons were sold as concepts, but this is a cheaper way to, not necessarily a cheaper way to do things. It cost me the same amount of money, but it didn't cost me the same amount of money at once. So with that said, the other thing to be aware of here is, is that anytime you upgrade a ship, you're upgrading from what it is. So because it has lifetime insurance, whatever I upgrade this to will always have lifetime insurance. If there were other goodies in this pack, it would still include them. This is also true of multi-ship packs you might buy. For example, I have this Exploration Mega Pack, and you can see here, here's the 600i it came with, here's the Carrick it came with. But you can also see that I've upgraded some of the ships inside here to like this Freelancer Miz, this Caterpillar Pirate, the Prowler, so on and so forth. You can also see that because I upgraded my Prowler with a specific thing, it added the Aves Helmet. So keep in mind that whatever the package contains, you'll keep. So even when you go to upgrade this Origin G12R, it's gonna keep the Selfland Hangar, Hangar Pass, the Lifetime Insurance, and any other things that are in this package. So let's talk now, how do you actually do the upgrade? Well, from the website, all you need to do is go to the pledge store. Now we're going to click ship upgrades. And this is going to bring up the ship upgrade module. Now in this specific example, we're going to look for our G12, which I can just type G12 and it's going to show me I have one G12R in my hangar. Once I've clicked on that, it'll let me choose what I'm going to upgrade it to. But I want to talk about an upgrade process that a lot of people are not aware of. Let's say one of the things I've previously been promoting is getting a Connie Taurus CCU, because if you war bond it right now from like a Freelancer Max, it'll cost you 10 bucks. Now I don't have a Freelancer Max right now, and you can see I can't find it. But if I say all ships, because you can buy a Freelancer Max in the store right now, it appears here and I can upgrade, I can buy an upgrade from it even though I don't own the ship. Back to our example though, G12. So you see here, because we're on all ships, here's all three of the origin G12s, but I don't have a G12 to upgrade from right now or a G12A. So if we click my ships, we can see just what's in my hangar. From here, we're just gonna go ahead and make this a Reliant Core today, really because I'm just demonstrating this and I have no reason what this is actually a token for we're, we're not spending that kind of money today so uh, from here origin g12r to a reliant core this is the standard edition meaning it doesn't come with any extra perks now a while back if you're a subscriber you'll occasionally get subscriber deals that include things like 
longer insurance, which with lifetime insurance doesn't matter, or other little perks or bennies. Uh, in this case, it's the standard edition, meaning it's just going to come with the ship. All right, from here, add to cart. And then this should see, feel pretty familiar. If you've got store credits to add, you can go ahead and add them here. You can see I've got 133 <laughs> credits in store. Uh, if you've got a coupon code, you can add that there as well. Continue. Place the order, accept the disclaimer. And now on to payment. Now I mentioned this in my last video, but I'm gonna mention it again, just because I have been caught up by this. If you need it today, like right now, because you're going to go play with it, use the credit card option. Amazon Payments and PayPal have to clear. Most of the time, this is instantaneous. Every now and then, though, PayPal or Amazon might be like, it's going to be like six hours before we process that for fraud reasons or something. Usually that happens if you're doing this a bunch. Um, and then you can't get it till it clears. So again, if you need it today, use the credit card button. Once you've paid for it, you'll see now that you've got your checkout success. And we're going to go back to our hanger. Now, again, right away, you're going to see it hasn't shown up in our hanger. And you can go to your billing and subscription and go see what that is. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to have to blur out all my order numbers and everything else like that. Uh, but what we can do is just continue to refresh. So now you can see we've got our upgrade. Now, the reason I want it to make, to be really clear about this is like, I can filter here by upgrades and you can see I've got that freelancer max to constellation Taurus. I've, and you can see it's a war bond edition, which meant it was cheaper. Um, you've, we've got our G12 to core. I have all of these various upgrades in here. Think of upgrades like ships. And the reason I make that point is this. You can see here, I can gift this to somebody or I can exchange it. Now I can only gift it because I paid cash for it. If you pay credits for it, you can't gift. Uh, but in order to apply our upgrade, we're just gonna simply click apply upgrade. Now see the beauty of this is again, it's gonna go in here and it's gonna say, oh look, this is the ship you could apply it to. Now, in my other video, I make the point that if you have multiple Origin G12Rs, you're going to see this number. This is the serial number of the ship, so you might decide exactly which one you want to apply. Click Next. It's going to make us type in our password. And our upgrade was successfully applied. So now that we've gone back in our hangar and we're looking at our standalone ships again, we can see right here the standalone ship Origin G12R Warbond but we can also see contains Reliant Core. If we expand it, you'll see now the ship is no longer a G12, but that's what it is. And the catch is, is once you've applied a CCU, it stays in here as what it originally was. So you can see my Retaliator was an OxQ. Uh, all of these different things became these other ships. But that's how you find it. So if you go in here looking for a Reliant Core and you don't find it in your ships, it's because it's still listed as what the original ship was because it retains all of its data and just the upgrade will appear inside of it. That's how to do a CCU somewhat over explained. If you're looking for more on the fleet management side of using LTI tokens and what have you, make sure to check out my other how to CCU video. I go into way more depth about all the different kind of strategy and planning involved with that. That said, this is really just to help new players know how to actually do this process because it's straightforward, but it isn't as straightforward as you might think. So like I said, make sure to share this video with your friends that are new to the verse. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't, like, and I will catch you all next time.